Hey you all, peace and blessings, God bless. I hope everyone is doing well. I miss y'all so much, y'all don't know. If only y'all knew, okay? So this is gonna be a quick read. A quick read for the Divine Feminine Energy with the all the Eclipse Energy that's going on. Um, and getting into all the other readings, y'all just gonna be on the lookout. At this point, we're just gonna say less and do more, okay? Um, thank you all for your patience and your support, your continuous support. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and share. Y'all know I love Scorpio season, okay? And my apologies to my Libra energy, okay? Those who have it anywhere in your chart, you honor it, okay? I say continue to celebrate. I know I kind of still been on, you know, coming through the hiatus. There's a lot been going on, even in personal life, career changes, everything. So, y'all, thank you. I appreciate the love and the support because it really shows. I don't have many bugaboos. I really don't, and I appreciate it. <laughs> Okay, so Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, let's see. What messages do you have for the Divine Feminine Collective? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what messages do you have? Mm. <laughs> Someone's wanting to offer... Okay, so Divine Feminine, this could be you. You could be holding back more or just being discreet about something you could be i feel like this is y'all's energy or it was at some point a, okay this is somebody who you may have separated from or who wants to come in and apologize i feel this page of cups has something to do with this everything is fine but you follow your intuition or you're choosing to or you're becoming more discreet about what you do I, I heard how you move okay or so you could be physically be moving to or uh where you're moving to something about relocation here okay and but i feel like somebody has gone within or that you've been separate from yes yeah, i heard separate separated okay something going on here they want to come in and oh, they want to come in and express something i heard apologize okay what do we need to know about the page of cups holy spirit holy angels Mm. this could be a a younger okay so this could be a child or they could be asking you for something your intuition is telling you something right but if not if this is someone from your past I heard a feminine energy or someone's wanting to you know something about a, a queen of cups there's someone else I heard, yeah, someone else. You know about someone else here, okay? Or someone else could be coming forward. Uh, water sign, but I'm not getting that with this, this Queen of Cups. I feel like this is no longer. You were in that Queen of Cups energy, and you may be trying to steal. It's something, or something ain't, I don't want to say it's not real, because y'all are going through it. Somebody is really going through this, I heard, betrayal, and it's heavy on someone's mind, but... Someone can see right through it. So th there could be another energy external to you who's wanting to offer you. I heard some compassion or I heard their friendship. So what's, what's going on with the Seven of Swords here? And we're going to get to this. Continue to follow your intuition, Divine Feminine, because with this Seven of Swords, Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, there's a reason someone's being discreet. This Seven of Swords is someone else coming in. I heard behind this other person, there's multiple people involved. So this could be an A up, okay, that's the truth. There could be an air, an air sign involved or there's something around communication, lies, rumors, okay? Because I see you protecting your energy. So you are following your intuition because going forward, there is an opportunity. There's something around, yeah, y'all could be going through some type of career changes as well. Or there's something around, um, a, a new. I heard a new chapter, a new door, a new opportunity, a hand, a helping hand here, Okay. 
and you have someone who is so fixed on your opportunities and your options that they're mm, that holy they're turning their back on theirs I heard they're blocking their own blessings too because it's something around their finance that's why okay so there's a blockage when it comes to this person's finances but yours you or someone else's is continuing to grow whoever this is that's continuing to be discreet or following their intuition I heard very wise here with this purple honey okay what's this hermit energy holy spirit holy angels what messages do you have when it comes to this yeah something around career you could be dealing with the earth sign all right eight of pentacles eight of yeah mm -hmm. i was gonna say eight of pentacles this is eight of cups i feel like whoever it is that you've been separated from or there's i heard there's some type of investigation or, or evaluation and and not inspection the way I can't I can't get the word okay but with this king this king of Pentacles in the egg cups some someone's moving forward I heard parting ways I heard letting something go not being let go someone's letting something go here and I feel like it's this feminine energy there was progression that's what this is if there's a king of Pentacles coming back in as this page of cups right they could be wanting to come in and use passion as a way to, yeah, that could be the Seven of Swords here, right? Still being somewhat closed off or not wanting to be open about what happened. Her, yeah, her what happened or why someone turned their back, where they came from. But someone wants to come put together. They're trying to come back put together. But this this Queen of Cups and this Hermit is progression from this. Everything is fine. This is for some of y'all. This is all the same energy. This is interesting. Let's see what's the what do we need to know about this Ace of Wands? Because I feel like there is grounds for a new be, new beginning. There's this creation. There's been a lot of Empress and Emperor energy with both the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. Okay. But other people see that. Other energies see that. And they're not all so honest is what I'm getting with the Seven of Swords here. Okay, what's this Ace of Wands? Set. So, ooh we. I heard somebody trying to mark, claim their territory. What? Mm, three of Cups. Okay, wow. Wow. And the Two of Wands again. Okay. Someone is serious about this high priestess. Someone is very serious about whoever this is, is very wise and maybe discreet. Something around her mutual friends or celebrating or just getting together or their support. There's a support in something when it comes to leadership or taking, taking a stand here. Someone finds that very attractive or is being celebrated because of that or something around leadership in a, a new path here with the two of wands okay mm. you or somebody could be up here i feel like it's you okay divine feminine okay well whoever take it how it resonates Ooh, yeah <laughs> y'all could be in shock when you hear something okay because i just guessed that was so interesting but i'm getting with this two of swords at first, before that happened, I'm, I was picking up that somebody could be up in their head, you know, not knowing what to do, what to decide as far as this, as far as taking action. Because this could be, you know, you being stagnant, okay? You be, you being indecisive for too long, and then you're not really taking any action. But if the two of wands is here first, okay, uh, I'm hearing twice, right? But you have the ace of wands here as well. Uh, mm. Someone is coming to try to steal that, though. But I heard never mind that. Never mind that because you got a lot of protection around you. And this is, yeah, you have a lot of spiritual support. You could be receiving something within your dreams. Okay, yeah, you follow your intuition. Listen, to, pay attention. Pay attention is what I'm hearing with the high priestess in this page of cups. 
Let's see. What advice do you have for the high, this high priestess energy? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what advice do you have? <laughs> of course. Y'all, you can't make this up. Didn't I tell you? This is something about letting go, not being let go. So, ooh, ooh. I'm not about to play with you. Some of y'all are like, I wasn't let go. I let it go. I let him go. I let it go or something around that, right? And you may have been acting like you didn't know or this person could have been or left. Ooh, they act like they didn't know about you. And so you went ahead and fell back with this high priestess. Mm -hmm. This is some non-committal energy or this is some more of that energy. New person, same energy or a different person, same energy. Okay. And you're like, no, I'm moving on from that. So this is a new chapter. You are become, I heard, um, attracted to more. You, okay. So you're attracting more and you're becoming attracted to different and more. Okay. So this is part of this new chapter and what it is that you're manifesting and bringing into fruition. All right. You had, yeah, y'all are realizing you had to go through whatever this was, and it may have came with secrets, it may have come, came with, you know, someone not knowing what it is, or just leaving you, yeah, I heard not in the know, knowing that you're in the know, so somebody may have been trying to gaslight you, okay, and it could have been a fire sign, or just someone who's very charming, and I, I, ooh -wee, I heard that get around they could have Gemini in their chart or they think the grass is greener or ooh, this person could go both ways as well okay because I am picking yeah something around uh this masculine being bisexual okay look see and spirit is guiding you to protect your energy I heard specifically your sexual energy okay and your financial energy here right so go ahead and just protect it all around <laughs> that's what I'm picking up here four pinnacles here twice Right, you have someone whose blessings and, and whatever it is that they're trying to manifest is being blocked because of whatever it is that they're running from trying to come towards you because they see the shiny ace of pentacles, right? And I feel for many of you, it is this king of wands. That's what this this is saying here. It's this king of wands, and it don't have to be a fire sign. It could just be this energy that this person is carrying as they try to come towards you, right? But I heard take it with a grain of salt or uh, something around protect your energy, okay? That's the at the least. Let's see. What's the Munaji message, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? Because you got the Eight of Cups here twice, the Four of Pentacles here twice. It's a given. With the Two of Wands here twice, yeah. Because y'all are at a, I, yeah, I heard you're at a crossword, crossroads. And I also heard crossword puzzle. So you are very intelligent, Divine Feminine, right? And somebody may be trying to come and, and test that. And it's like to you, they may have tried to insult it in the past, or they may have gotten, yeah, they may have gotten over on you in the past. But now, there's a reason why this is here. So I heard reinforcing. You may be reinforcing or reminding someone or having to put your foot down and actually something on your boundaries. Okay? Ooh wee. <laughs> Let me breathe. <laughs> Divine Feminine. It says, look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. So these next six to seven months are playing a huge role. And it also says nothing is yet set in stone. Yes, mutable moon. And this full moon in Sagittarius is also a mutable moon. This new moon in Sagittarius that we have coming up is a mutable moon. Okay, so nothing yet is set in stone. That is why you are being guided to embrace this. There are changes in your pathways. Look, there's envy, there's conflict, there's competition, but didn't I say the empress and the emperor, okay? But here, this is birth. Good luck of oh wow, of a new beginning, of a trans of a transition. Okay, Wheel of Fortune in the Death card. You cannot make this up. Some of y'all got Scorpio on your chart, right? I'm hearing Libra Taurus strong, but specifically this is the astrological energy for the collective that this reading is really pulling on. Okay, you got Scorpio, Taurus, the eclipses that look Libra season we just came up out of. You cannot make this up, y'all. So yeah, there there are going to be some people around you who are it's it's the spirit within them. Okay. That may be in conflict and they want to try you because here you are at this crossroads. I heard a beautiful one. It's some good karma. I heard sweet, sweet justice again, like honey. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. 
Because you do produce. The Empress produce. Mm. What's the advice? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what advice do you have for the collective? <laughs> ooh, honey. Uh, yeah, I, ooh. So, you've been a bit, yeah. And, ooh, God bless. My auntie's birthday is coming up. Rest in peace to her. Um, but... I heard some of y'all have been a busy bee, but a productive one, right? Not too busy, but productive. And there is that reward. Look at you. You're getting the recognition, whether in work, whether through this new partnership, because there is something around business and you moving on, or uh, I heard agreeing to disagree, because or two people could be moving on, um, but still moving together with something or uh, a partnership here. There's success. There's victory and there's success here. I don't know, but you're cheesing, y'all. I'm so excited for you. Let's see. What's the soul journey message? Somebody is getting recognition. That's another reason why there's some conflict. And uh, there's envy and jealousy. But spirit is really telling me to highlight envy. Okay? With this five of wands. But look. That's your message. Love. So even though there's envy, you bring love. Follow your intuition because I know it's telling you something about love or it's not your intuition. It's not the Holy Spirit. If it's not telling you something about love, it's not the Holy Spirit, right? I commit to the practice. I commit, right? This, there's this, oh, I'm so excited. There's this discipline, honey. Didn't I just say there's reward? Okay. I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. Ooh, I did not see this. And look, doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Wow. So when you do that, it's so much easier for you to embrace this. Like how how could you not see the good in all things? Or how could you see the good in all things when you're always trying to know all the answers, right? And so that's why I also tell people like, you know, you may miss me when it comes to tarot or anything else, but you could balance honey i'm sagittarius energy and aquarius energy and with the scorpio stellium <laughs> you got to understand i'm gonna embrace the temperance i'm gonna embrace the hermit i was born this way right but it's it's healthy it's the key to this y'all this is beautiful continue to tap in y'all oh i'm excited so we're gonna continue this is supposed to be a preview but clearly there's a lot of beautiful energy ahead i appreciate y'all's love and support i'll keep y'all updated on the personals and everything but until then i'll see you later